Welcome again to the Sari and Chi Jamboree Deluxe. It's our second episode, wouldn't you say? Indeed, we do. And what are we talking about today? Phobias. Phobias! Okay, so phobias. We're not talking about like everyone else's phobias. We're talking about ours. <laughs> I guess that makes us narcissistic. Because <laughs> show natin to. Uh, specifically then, yung nakakaiba na phobias namin. Oh, Hindi na parang si- weird. Yun yung phobia mo? Huh? huh? Ha? Ba't mo kami ginadjudge? What? Ginadjudge ba nila tayo? Stop fighting them. <laughs> I think let's get started. All right. Um. Okay. Mayroon akong phobia of spoiled milk. Phobia talaga. As in like, pag naamoy mo yung karton ng milk. Ah! <laughs> Ganon. Ganon. I mean, med. Okay. Yung takot akong buksan para i-check kung panis na ba siya. Tapos takot akong amuyin. Actually, ang dalas noon na pinapaamoy mo nga sa akin. Kasi ayaw ko amuyin. Uh-uh. Diring day ka. Ayaw ko, kinakabahan ako. Parang feeling ko kasi um, pag naamoy ko siya, lagot ako. Lagot ka? <laughs> Susumbong kita. <laughs> Hey, kala ko judgment free zone. Ako nga pala. Sorry, sorry. Ako nga pala. Mabay. It is what it is. Sorry. I'm, I'm scared of spoiled milk. Ayoko rin sa spoiled food. I mean, like, sino naman may gusto nun kung isipin mo, no? Parang, okay, sorry. Na, napaisip ako, unless like, mahilig ka sa like, gorgonzola. Like, like go Shucks, eat it. Shucks, wait. Oo nga, no? Wait, so yogurt, is that, wait, panis na gatas ba ang yogurt? Ibang category si yogurt, eh. Parang, it is what it is. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Pero yung milk, lalo na yung pag, ah, pag hindi mo ini-expect. Yun yun eh. It's yung hindi mo ini-expect. Mm. Tapos, gusto mo lang mag-cereal. Oh, tas na, na-pour mo tas na sa cereal. Si- ah. Tapos yun na yung huling cereal sa bag. Oh, sakit na. Yun ang masakit. Oo. Parang, oh, yung na-pour mo, tas buo siya. Or yung hindi pa buo, pero pag tinikman mo, parang may mali. Oo, 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 oo. Ako lang ba or may mali? Oo. Tapos nag-start ka na mag-doubt ng... Nang sanity mo. Uh-uh. Yun, yun yun eh. Creepers. Nice. Okay, so I said one. Your turn. Okay. Ito, narealize ko tong phobia to, na to nung batang-bata pa ako. That being, pag madadagan... <laughs> Wait, iiyak ka ba? <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> iiyak ka? Hindi. Kapag mad- <laughs> madadagan... <laughs> Shucks. Oh my God! Okay. Kapag Wait, mad- hindi ko na-expect na parang hindi ko na expect mag-open it. up to ng real... Like can of worms. Oo nga eh. And, 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 okay lang, kaya ko to. Kapag madadaganan ako ng tao, pero may blanket on top of me. <laughs> Kasi kung kunyari like, nag-aharutan lang tayo, tapos ano, nasa kama, okay lang, walang blanket on me. Pero kung may blanket on me, tapos nadaganan ako, especially sa legs or sa arms, sa limbs eh. Hindi, you know what? Lahat na. So, talagang natatakot ako dun. Yung reaction ko. Ah! No! Ganon. Tapos na-realize ko tong phobia na to nung bata tayo kasi nag-hide and seek tayo kasama ng mga ibang pinsan natin. And then, um, naisip ko tumago sa kama under the <laughs> blanket. So, okay, kaya ako tumago. Dito muna ako. And then yung utak ko started to overthink na paano kung sa sobrang like, hidden ko, isipin na lang, ikaw yung, ano, okay, it, it, ikaw yung taya nun eh. Paano akong maisip na lang ni ate na, hmm, may lump sa kama. Paano kung daganan ko to? So, nag-freak out ako nun. <laughs> was yung result to that was linabas ko on purpose yung leg ko from the from the blanket para okay lang kum, kumahuli na ako basta wag ka daganan basta wag na nga akong daganan 
<laughs> With the blanket. Sorry, no. Wait na nga. Ikaw yung bumuo ng sarili mong phobia out of nowhere. <laughs> Walang nangyari. Never ka dinaganan. Pumasok ka lang sa kumot. <laughs> tas in-imagine mo. Tapos naging phobia mo na siya Oo, ever since. Na to this day, ayoko. Nag-freak out talaga ako. Wow. Ganun. <sighs> Okay, na figure yun kasi that, parang... That took a lot, ah. Oo. Medyo... For our listeners na hindi nakikita yung video, as in, nagluluha na si G. <laughs> and I'm a little concerned. <laughs> and if you listen to our last episode, binabaskil ako ngayon. Oh, Medyo... Ako rin. Ah, gusto ko lang tanong. Di, di ba meron tayong game dati? Yung lumpia. Alam mo, thinking about it, medyo nag-freak out din pala ako nun. Ha, huh, but that was good times. I mean, like, hindi mo naman kasi ako dinadaganan nun Oo. eh. Ay, explain natin yung game na Ay, sorry, lumpia. lumpia. So, oh. meron kaming game nung bata kami. Inimbento lang namin. Lumpia. Ang mangyayari is... <laughs> meron kaming kumot sa sahig. So, yung lumpia, yung, so basically yung taya, kung sino yung lumpia for that turn. Uh-uh. Mag-roll siya. In the kumot para maging parang lumpia. <laughs> Tapos yung other person. Yung chef. Yung chef. Mm-hmm. Tapos naglalagay ka lang ng salt, seasoning. Uh, salt, pepper, lahat. Uh, uh, which is not the right which way to make Which is not how you make lumpia. Oo, pero syempre as kids yun yung isip namin kung paano. Oo, nakabalot na tapos lalagyan uh-huh. mo ng mga ano. Tapos yung tao na lumpia. Oh, no. Oo, nag-react lang. Oo, uh-huh. Na parang natatakot kasi uh-uh. kakainin siya. Kakainin siya. Tsaka parang na-irritate tayo sa seasoning eh. Oo, diba kasi ba? parang... Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> oh, so oh. yung goal of the game is for the lumpia to, ano ba, be free. May ganun ba? Hindi, alam mo. Oh my yun God. Yung, yun yung maganda sa game sana dati. <laughs> walang wala pala. Point. Sobrang walang, okay. <laughs> walang mananalo, walang matatalo. Tapos pa ulit ulit natin. Pa ulit ulit. Hindi ko maalala na wala pa lang point yung game. Kasi ako kailangan. Wala, lang. Ng... Ah, ah. So, oh, ikaw okay. naman, ikaw naman. Okay, okay. <laughs> nice, nice. I get, oh, I mean like naiilang ako sa being constricted, pero hindi mo naman kasi ako dinadaganan. So hindi pa nag-click yung fear na yun sa akin. Okay, okay. Uh-uh. So hindi yun yun. So, hindi, nung time na yun, parang hindi. okay pa rin ang lumpia. Uh-oh. Like, pwede pa rin nating laruin. Oo. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. Good to know. Kasi one of my favorite ga- personal faves. Ako din, actually. Good game. Oo. Uh-huh. Lumpia. Oo. Uh-huh. Nice. Nice yan. Okay, okay. 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 Phobia number two yun. Okay. Let's move on to the next. I th- okay, itong next phobia, alam ko pareho tayong mm-hmm. okay. uh-huh. may phobia nito. Nagulat tayo na ano eh. Huh? Uh, ikaw, ikaw din? din? Uh, slightly different yung reason. Ah, talaga? Okay, mm-hmm. let's let's find out. Okay, let's so, please share. Yung phobia na to is takot kaming lumipad ng kite. Okay, ano yung reason mo? Ayoko yung feeling na kapag lumilipad yung kite, sobrang strong ng winds. Yung takot of well, letting go. <laughs> Parang mapakawalan ko yung kite, tapos mahuhulog ako sa floor. So, yung mawawala yung kite? Oo, yung mawawala yung kite, tapos mahuhulog So, yung buong combination na yun? Oo, oo, oo. Kung mawala yung kite, tapos hindi ka mahulog sa floor, okay lang. Ay, hindi. Parang feeling ko mahuhulog pa so, rin So, any one of those results? Oo, oo, oo. Yung sensation eh, yung sensation sa kamay. Yun na, yung nag, out of control. Oo, out of control. Na yun yung nagtitrigger ng thoughts na mawawala yung kite at mahuhulog ako sa sahig. Yun yung sa akin. Okay, okay. Sa'yo mas interesting eh. Mm, uh, interesting yung sa'yo din. Ah, nice, you know? thanks. I'd, I'd consider it interesting. Yung akin, so, sabay ba natin first time matry lumipad yes. ng kite? Yes, oo. Sa beach tayo. tayo nun. And bata pa tayo nun, grade school siguro Dinilin tayo. Dinilin ni mama and daddy ng Rainbow kite. Rainbow na okay. kite. Yun, yun yung only time. The first and the last time. Ako din. Oo nga eh. So yung sa akin is... Nililipad ko yung kite. So nakatingin ako ang taas nung kite. Tapos feeling ko malalaglag ako into the sky. May sense ba yun? 
Kung yun yung nararamdaman mo, may sense sabi. siya. At basang-basa na yung kilig ng people <laughs> just talking about these things. <laughs> Parang okay pala na yung first episode natin, Baskil. Oh, no? just to set the tone. Uh, this, this, this is, is a <laughs> thing that happens. <laughs> and it happens all the time. <laughs> this is a reality. Um, I mean, I guess in a way may sense siya, pero hindi ko siya nararamdaman. Sabi mo, parang, lulu, parang swallow ka ng oh, oh, kasi sky. Ang vast ng sky. Uh-uh. And I guess pag nakatingin ka, hindi mo na feel yung ground beneath. Parang, di ba, na-overwhelm ka lang sa, wow, sky all around. Parang ganun. Uh-uh, tas uh-uh. parang feeling mo, eh, hawak mo yung kite, tas parang ang lakas nung hangin. Tas uh-uh. parang feeling mo matatangay ka. Pero into the sky. Ewan ko. Sana may nakaka-relate. Kasi hindi ko talaga, like, parang... Tayong hindi... dalawa pa lang yung alam kong takot maglipad ng kite. Talaga? Uh-uh. Okay. So kung meron, like, hit us up. <laughs> Gusto ko malaman eh, kasi I don't wanna feel so alone. Oo. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Mm. Meron ka pa? Meron akong isa na bagong realization or na develop na phobia. Recently, kasi pumunta kaming Boracay. Ilan ba? Four days kami doon. So, first day, like, nag-beach na ako. Like, sulitin natin to. Mm. So, yun, takbo ako sa, sa beach. Oh, yeah! Second day, did it again. Takbo din ako sa beach. But, like, swimming, swimming din. Somehow, yung third day, nag-freak out ako sa water. Kasi, si Victor may dalang goggles. Oh. So, dinala niya yung goggles sa beach. Tapos gusto daw niya makita yung mga fishes. Tapos sinabi niya, try mo, try mo. And mind you, during the first and second day, nakikita ko naman yung mga fishes like closer to the shore. You know, swim, swim, silo. Tapos like, hinahabol ko din sila. Uh, nang nakatayo. Nang nakatayo. Uh. Tapos, nung third day, yun nga, may goggles. Punta kami sa medyo deeper end. Tapos, dun chinecheck ni Victor yung fishes. Tapos gusto niya share sa akin yung experience. Uh. Set ko yung goggles. Sumilip ako sa tubig. Tapos nakita ko, uh, medyo marami sila. Tapos mga, mga ganyan kalaki. Sumigaw ako sa tubig. <laughs> like, totoong sigaw siya. Pero tawa ng tawa kami ni Victor kasi unexpected reaction. As in, yung talagang nagbablow ako ng bubbles underwater while screaming. Gusto kong salitin yung beach. Pero ayoko yung idea of the fish being near my feet. So binuhat na ako ni Victor the whole time. na Nakabuhat na. Talagang takot ako. Tapos pag lower niya ako sa water, nag-freak out. As in, pinupush down <laughs> sa tubig para mas um, para maangat ko lang sarili ko. Wait, ayaw mong matouch yung water at all? Hindi, hindi. Okay lang yung water. Ayaw ko lang maging near the fish. So, na, yung bagong phobia ko pala is fish. <laughs> Tapos yung, yung fish bagong phobia niya is taong suwisi daw. <laughs> <laughs> yung malala pa, nung fourth day, fourth day, nag-beach pa rin ako Tapos nung dumadating na ako sa deeper end, nag-freak out ulit ako. Like, binuhat lang ako ni Victor the whole time. Ang weird ng experience na... Third... Ano yung itsura nung nakita mong fish? Normal lang na mga... Parang, ano ba? Uh, like, off-white na fish. As in, uh, nothing... Okay, okay. Tas, ma- nothing parang, fancy. Nothing fancy. Tapos in, like, hindi din nakakatakot yung mukha nila. Hindi yung parang nakita natin dati na... Ano, yung mukhang tao? Yung mukhang tao. Oh, oh. Yeah. No. Gusto ko i-share yung nakita nating fish. Ay, kumahanap ko yung photo. Isasama natin. Flash sa, oh, flash natin sa video yung picture nung fish na mukhang tao. Okay. Since nabanggit mo yun, may naalala akong bagong phobia din. <gasps> nice. So, sa TV na yan, kapag naka-standby, may mga Google photos mm. na parang nagsa-slideshow. Okay. So, may nakita akong photo sa, sa Google Slides, Google Photos, whatever, of like some place. And I found it really interesting. So, ginugol ko yung place. Okay. Tapos, it was part of an article with a bunch of other places. Okay. So, I was scrolling through the article because there were a bunch of 
cool looking places na mukhang parang otherworldly, mm. parang very interesting, mga natural wonders. Mm. May nakita akong isang place sa article na yun na nung nakita ko, sobrang kinilabutan ako. Hindi ko maintindihan bakit. Na hindi ko matignan yung photo long enough na parang binitawan ko yung phone ko. Hindi ko maintindihan. Takot na takot ako. Hindi ko to nakwento kay Ryan kasi takot na takot. Hindi ko mapag-usapan. Oh shit, okay. So, it's really creepy kasi... Is it the place? Is it the quality of the photo? Ano it's ba? the place. It's the place. It's how the image felt. Nung nakita ko, talagang nararamdaman mo sa buong katawan mo, talagang Bakit down kaya? your spine. Ang weird. And I feel like it's like some kind of past life thing. Yeah, na baka namatay ako doon or something. Huh. Even pag pinag-uusap mo, medyo kinakaban ako just talking about it. Binabaskil ka? Oo. Actually, mas nararamdaman ko siya in my chest, uh-huh. which is worse. You know na parang kaba siya kasi uh-huh. inside na siya. Hindi right. siya nag express Oh, yes. Okay, gets. nag Pero... So yun din isa pang gusto kong malaman if anyone can relate na parang may nakita ko yung lugar tapos sobrang kinabahan lang kayo na walang context. Uh-uh. Minsan nararamdaman ko yun with abandoned places. Actually more of curiosity yun, not a phobia. Uh-uh. Pero yung parang there's a certain... Give me the creeps. Oo, oh, oh, gives uh-uh. you the creeps eh. So uh-huh. that was my experience. Nice. So... Let's, you know, um, let's... Calm ourselves down yeah. and let's prepare for the song. Let's write a song. Let's write a song. Let's write a song. So we're about to present the song we made. But if you'd like to see how it was made, which is not part of this podcast, you can head over to Solid OK's YouTube channel. Check the video there. Yeah, and dun yung making of, and dun yung buong process. So you can see... Paano nangyari yun? Kasi hindi naman namin may magic lang. Like, whoa. Well, mm-hmm. well na- medyo magic siya. Medyo magic. Kasi it's a magical experience. For a short amount of time, nakaproduce tayo ng ganun. Dang! While we're recording this, hindi pa namin ginagawa yung song. So, <laughs> hindi ko alam. Here with our latest hit, it's us singing a phobia, parenthesis, a phobia, a phobia. Hit it, maestro. Beach, beach, it's giving me the creeps I wanna go home, but I'm at the beach Beach, beach Fish, fish, it's giving me the creeps I wanna go home, it's my only wish Wish, wish Kites, kites, afraid of heights Let me go home, it's within my rights And so many tears I've been carrying them with me throughout the years. Yeah! Yeah! Oh! Okay, boy. I'm so proud of you. So proud of Like. It started slow na parang shocks. Ano kaya gagawin natin? Mm-mm. Paano natin gagawin to? Tsbig lang nagawa natin. Amazing. We never cease to amaze me. Wow. That was fun. And that's it for this episode of Sarian Chi, the Sarian Chi Jamboree Deluxe. Any final words? Thank you so much for watching and listening. We hope you enjoyed. Uh-oh. And mm-hmm. if you also have some phobias up your sleeve, please, please share. Please yeah. share. Give, a, uh, give us a little peek. Mm. Cause I don't know. I mean, only if you're comfortable. Oh, nga. Cause baka baka mangyara din sa yung like biglang bang bilis Malu- bilang umiiyak kana. That was legit. Um, umiiyak ka talaga. Medyo naramdaman uminit mata ko. Cause uh, yung spicy yung uh, uh, sa likod. Uh, 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 yeah. So yeah. See you again next time. Catch you later. Catch you on the flip side. Flip side. Jamboree Deluxe. This is the Sabi and Jamboree Deluxe. Deluxe.